Hey guys, it's Johnny again. Right, today I just want to um, show two things that um, one thing I've is still sealed and I'm going to open it and it's got a record, it's got a t-shirt and um, what else has it got? I think that's it. Yeah, it's um, a classic song um, and this this I've had for quite a few years now since since the album came out um, and uh, yeah I'm gonna open it I've decided I want to wear the t-shirt so um, yeah righty -o. Um and the other thing is something that is um, a CD but it's in such a it's one of my coolest CD singles that I own um, and I want to show that as well um, so what I'm going to do is um, yeah I'll show you the CD single first <clears throat> and uh, here we go I'm going to take it out of the sleeve it's in a plastic sleeve because I need to protect it because it's quite big and it is this one here and I'm sure any of you Alice Cooper fans out there will notice it straight away but this is Love's a Loaded Gun and um, it's got 18 live 19, 1991 on there track 2 and Fire um, track 3 and um, it's even got its tour dates on there for the September, October in the UK and Ireland and um, yeah this is um, this is my coolest um, CD single for sure um, and uh, this here opens up like that just make sure I don't lose the CD how cool is that eh? that is pretty awesome and there's the CD single for Alice Cooper's Loves a Loaded Gun. Is that a thing? And um, yeah, that's uh, definitely the most amazing CD single thing I actually own. But yeah. Oh! <laughs> no. So um, I've got to keep that, keep that very, what does this do, does that come up, don't know, no idea, maybe that should stay down there, right, uh, I'm not going to fiddle with it too much, um, it's got a plastic little screw through there, oh, it's going to not want to close, stay closed now, right, um, I'm going to put that down there, and uh, put that away in a minute, right, the um, the other thing I said I was going to open up. Actually, I'm going to say one thing. Um, cheers to all of you in the VC, whoever's watched my last um, load of videos. Um, you'll notice that I changed my um, oh, what do you call it? I changed the picture. So it was just vinylizer, um, as on the that was all you could see before you clicked. It was the thumbnail. That's the word. Get it out in the end. Um, yeah, I changed the thumbnail, put vinylizer all the way up to probably just before I changed the name of my channel. Um, and uh, I was checking out my um, sub my. Uh, subscribe get it together John subscriber count and views and I was checking them for the past two weeks or so since I did this changeover and I was on like 400 views a day and um, it went right down to um, one day was only 87 views and you think I've got nearly 400 videos 
um, and then a couple of the other days were 139, 190 views a day, um, and it was get it was starting to get really bad, and uh, my subscribers sort of went. Vroom. I didn't lose any. I just, they just slowed down. And um, yesterday, I thought, right, stuff this. I'm sticking it back to how I had the format before with just me with some goofy looking face holding up a record and stuff like that and uh, and then yesterday I got four subscribers and um, I had 337 views yesterday so it's starting to go back so um, if anybody out there is deciding on um, changing their format to have just their logo as the thumbnail um, check it check your that your stuff because I don't think um, I think the views will go down um, but yeah they definitely did on mine um, so I've toyed with it a bit and I've put it back um, how it was and uh, yeah I'm back to good good um, view number viewing numbers now um, so yeah I'm up to 199 subscribers so hopefully tomorrow or today I can start to do a competition for 200 subscribers so I really need to get to 200 to do a thing because uh, I've been waiting for the past few weeks to try and do a competition but um, just haven't had the subs um, go up to 200 yet um, the cat couldn't really do a 189 subscriber sub thing or 199 or 192 um but yeah right i'm going to show you this and uh this is um by the band heart it's the um fanatic and it's got the barracuda single in here um i didn't like this album and i'm well into heart i love um nearly every single thing they've done um especially the 70s and most of the 80s uh, Fanatic really didn't like this album um, but it's I've had this for a few since the album came out and uh, this is the Threads and Grooves limited edition bundle 7 inch record and size XL t-shirt I'm um, just trying to think will that fit me mm, maybe I have to lose a bit of weight uh, featuring Fanatic from the 2012 album Fanatic plus the classic song Barracuda so I won't show you the back because that shows you what it looks like but um yeah this is on from legacyrecords.com so um let's go and I, do you know what? I really don't want to open it but I'm gonna because I just think you know what's the point of it being sealed up all these it's been sealed up enough long enough so I'm gonna devalue it let's put it that way maybe I should have checked um, eBay to see how much they were going for <laughs> no. right that's the cover off so it's a bit squashed it's been traveled around quite a few times with me a few places so um Whoa. Right, let's get the single out first without busting it. So there's the single, and um, it's not the strongest piece of card. The openings at the top, which is a good thing, and um, let's have a look at this single. So yeah, no centre on these. So um, yeah, obviously made. That's what a jukebox sort of issue would have had. So yeah, that's um, the single. And uh, 
and get a piece of card in there to separate it from the t-shirt and here's the t-shirt I'd like this to fit me because uh, it might do if I don't shrink it in the wash right and here is the t-shirt nothing on the back and uh, that's the t-shirt just the plain heart logo but you know from the 70s that one which is cool because that's the era I love the most so um, yeah and it's uh, it's pretty good yep so hopefully I don't ruin that in the wash and uh, it, or it was made of good quality I think it's 100% cotton uh, yeah, 100% cotton. And, uh, well, it says made in Mexico, so I don't know how legit that's going to be. So, yeah. Oh, they put tear away tags on them now. Well, that's cool, because I can't stand tags. I hate having t labels, tags on my clothes. So, um, yeah, that's sorted. Um,. And uh, that's, that's all I can show you today. Um, cheers for watching. Keep viewing my channel. Um, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Um, I need to get to 200 so I can do a comp. Um, so yeah, it'd be cool if I can get to 200. One more to get. So yeah, see you later, guys. Cheers.